Hi, Mike Pierce here with the stewardship message for Church of the Cross 2020. It is that time of year once more, fall Christmas in the air, elections, and stewardship discussions. This has been and remains a most difficult year, with job losses for both us and our children, isolation from loved ones, and illness of friends and family due to COVID-19. There's no wonder why there is uncertainty, anxiety, and fear as we come to, the f to look into our futures. In spite of these challenges, you have kept the program's mission and financial health of our church solid. The congregation has given up to 94% of its pledges this past year. Congratulations. There are two areas of stewardship I would like to discuss with you for this coming year. Financial giving and some ideas on how best to live this next year. First, financial giving. We all balance our needs and wants. We need to have food, shelter, clothes, and a relationship with God. We also need to make sure our friends and loved ones have the same. We also need to remember that Jesus asked us to feed and clothe the least of mine. The church does this and can always use more resources to manage the task. Challenge. Is it possible for you that in addition to your contribution, when you go to the grocery store, you can get a little extra food for the food pantry? This goes the same for when you're buying clothes challenge. If you have not done it, while we're all cooped up, is it possible you can go through your old clothes and give them to Goodwill or other charities? Challenge. Can you think of creative ways we can better supply resource support to the church and community? For example, people in our congregation worked the paperwork necessary to get COVID-19 financial grants for the daycare. This helped keep the daycare a going concern for the future. Big congratulations. It is always true that in times of upheaval, providing resources for those who cannot provide for themselves increases. Can you help more? The second part some ideas on how to live better lives this coming year with less stress, anxiety, and fear. I'd like to say if, if we are to reduce uncertainty, anxiety, and fear of the future, it is good to remember who is in charge. Hint, it is not us. We do not control the food supply, the factories that make our clothes, or the weather. In fact, we only control that which God has given us. There is a lot we can do with what we have. We can read our Bible, pray, and work harder at God's work. Challenge. Can you read your Bible every day? Can you pray every day? It is a fact that one of the reasons Islam is so effective is that they have a call to prayer six times a day, every day. Followers of Islam always have the presence of God on their minds and front and center in their lives. Can we reach that level of commitment? It has been said that a burden shared is a burden lessened. Do you have close friends that you could share your concerns with? Can you meet with them each week in a safe way? Challenge. Can you build a small group of friends that you can meet with each week to share the roses of your life? A rose, the bloom is the good stuff, thorns are the bad. Peter 4.10 states, let each one serve one another to the measure of his endowment of, as good stewards of God's richly varied grace. I believe it is within these small groups where the strength of a church can grow. If your small group works, can you invite other friends to your group that perhaps are not part of a church family? 
even if your small group invites one person that can join our church, in time, our church would grow an active grassroots approach to church expansion. God has asked us to be stewards of our stuff, offerings, and ourselves, our gifts, and mission. If you pray and work for God, wonderful things happen. The stress, uncertainty, anxiety of tomorrow can vanish in the shadow of an active and strong God watching over us. Ruthie and I plan on taking up these challenges. Remember Psalm 91, 4. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. Thank you.